What's up, people of YouTube? Lego Panda Customs here, back again with their update video. Um, today's update video is kind of sad. Um, and informant, um, not informant, what the heck am I saying? It's very sad, and it's kind of like a quick update of what I'm working on and what new figures I've been making lately. So, and new announcements. Um,. So I want to, I want to get a moment here and talk about um a, we lost today a very beloved woman a brave courageous spontaneous and a stupendous what the heck am I saying a stupendous let me know if that's a word <laughs> um but a very a very Fearful, if I can put it that way, woman. <laughs> Funny and smart, genius, and that person is Carrie Fisher. And to be honest with you, I haven't gone into Star Wars. Like I haven't gone. Like I'm. I didn't start being a very big fan of it since like. Two years ago, to be honest. I've seen Star Wars when I was a kid. I've seen it when a couple of times, but I wasn't interested in it. Because I was still a kid. I I just watched movies and say, okay, this is awesome, yay. But I wasn't like a very, let's say, I wasn't like an exciting kid back then. So, having gone in t deeply into like Star Wars films until like two years ago when uh, I heard about The Force Awakens... And to be honest with you, I I've always like when I first saw Star Wars, I thought it was really good. Um, but I didn't care about it that much. Um, because I I, I I wasn't like a very exciting kid. I only cared about toys and cartoons, and that's the stuff that excited me. But movies like Star Wars didn't excite me that much back then. But once I got into Star Wars and started caring about it, I started getting more deeply into it. I started caring. I started to care about the characters and about the people who play the characters that I love. Like back then, I did like C three PO. I recognized the figures. The I recognized the characters, but I wasn't like a huge fan of them. For example, now you see me like with a bunch of Star Wars things here and over there and. PS4 and I want to get Battlefront and all this stuff, merchandise from Star Wars, but I think it's, I was a little bit too late, but I'm still a big fan of Star Wars, I'm, I don't consider myself like a huge fan, like in a way, like I know everything about Star Wars, I'm still, I'm still knowing, I'm still getting to know a bunch of new stuff, every time I see Star Wars, I listen to Star Wars, every time I um, hear thoughts or something about people about Star Wars I keep knowing and I keep understanding every time I see Star Wars I learn something new about it and with the loss of Carrie Fisher it's kind of hurt me because I thought she wasn't never going to pass away because um, first of all when I first heard the news about her being in a hospital I Thought she would be okay. I mean, my dad had a heart attack and nothing happened to him. Um, he got surgery though, but it never happened. Nothing major happened to him. Just got surgery. But I thank God as he's here today with me because I don't know where I would have been without him. But Carrie Fisher, I thought she would be okay. I thought she'll get better soon. Everybody was saying like, help get better. Everybody was wishing her good health, but today or yesterday night, I don't know when, the announcement about Carrie Fisher passing away at age 60, and that really upset me when I first heard the news. When I first went to Flickr, I went to the stories, Blink Break Customs, and said, R.I.P. Carrie Fisher. I thought it was like a joke at first. I was like, ah, probably it's a joke. And I started going, continuing clicking the stories on, on Instagram. I said, okay, this is this is real. This has happened. So I went to the internet. I googled Carrie Fisher. Um, 
And then the top stories have popped out and said Carrie Fisher has passed away to age 60. And I was in shock. I had no words to say. I was just really upset. Really, I literally cried for like a minute. And um, I just was speechless. I don't have any words to say about Carrie Fisher. Now that she's died, I think that's... Don't get me wrong, but... Um, but I think it's a good thing that she died. I didn't want to see her suffer or something. Like, for example, I don't want her to see her like in a bad condition or something that doesn't make her feel well. Like, you know, who knows what can happen when a heart attack happens. Like, you can get a pacemaker or something. I don't know. But I, I really said that she died. And like I said, don't get me wrong, but I think it was time for her to step down and just... Just be free and just get in a better place because this world's being screwed. This world's getting really bad and unfortunately we're in this world and we have to face the truth and we have to deal with the truth and we have to face it. And Carrie Fisher was very lucky to go because we're not going until we die. So yeah, that's only one of my thoughts about Carrie Fisher. So yeah. So let's get all this sadness so from our side. Let's go to something cool that I'm working on. Um so for Christmas I got the Avengers or the Civil War or Captain America Civil War uh Tinker Truck Takedown set. Really cool set. I recommend it. I'm probably gonna review it some of these days. Also, I'm gonna do a video probably tomorrow on how to make a coat because a lot of people have been asking me like geo brick customs have been asking me to make a tutorial on it so i'm gonna make that um also i'm gonna show you some little figures here so i've been working on shocker here um let me get a better light here i've been working on this dude here and he looks very cool let me know in the comments what you guys think about him um so far he looks very nice i've already finished him so that's one complete. The other figure I've been working on um, is the Vulture. And here he is um, himself, the Vulture. Um, his wings, of course, are paper cut and stuff like that. And then painted it and stuff. So that looks really cool. And then we got Spider-Man himself right there. So, voila. Those are the three figures so far. I'm still going to make more. Um, I'm going to make the friend of Peter Parker probably. And whatever character shows up in the movie. Or trailers or something. So those are the three main figures right now. That I've finished each one of them. I'm still working on the Vulture a little bit. Just a little bit. Not that much. Um, Spider-Man. I might work on him a little bit more. But I think he's okay now. I think he looks great. And yeah. That's... Uh, one of the figures also also I've been working on another figure and this might get a little bit of hate probably um oh gosh I'm afraid to show you guys this figure um it's not a meme it's a superhero I'm not sure what you guys think about this but boom she hulk oh my gosh she I don't know, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think about her. Um, I mean, she looks okay in the torso. She looks okay in the... Damn it. Dang it. She looks okay in the torso and everything else looks fine. The only issue I have is the face. Um, I've been trying to look olive green color because... I purposely I chose a different green that I thought will match, but no, it looks even worse. But expect that to f get fixed soon in the near future. So don't worry, guys. That will be f that figure will be fixed soon. So it's not gonna stay like that. I know it looks ugly. If you guys say it's ugly, I agree with you for right now. But trust me, I will fix it, the figure later so 2016 projects are coming and i'm gonna announce them right now i'm gonna work on a spawn figure um because i've read a couple comics now from my friend and this 
character is really cool and I want to make him now. Um, also, I'm going to be making, um, what's his name, Green Lantern, my version of Green Lantern. Um, Justice League Customs, also I'm going to be working on those figures. Thor Ragnarok, um, Spider-Man Homecoming, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Wonder Woman, Justice League, and etc. And probably some Walking Dead figures, and probably as well... Star Wars Episode 8 in tribute for Carrie Fisher though. That's going to be a very special video for me. So hopefully I can make the figures for that until we get like more material and more pictures. Because we haven't gotten anything about Episode 8. Only a teaser of the filming already started back in April I believe. And since that we haven't gotten any other material on Episode 8. But once something comes out, I'm going to start working on episode 8 figures. So, hopefully, hopefully I can get enough pieces to work on those figures. But take this for sure. I'm absolutely going to work on Spider-Man Homecoming. As you can see already, I'm working on it right now. Uh, Justice League Customs, only the main figures, probably the villain as well. Because the Justice League crew is a lot of figures. Just like five of them, I believe, or six, plus the villain, and that's it. That's it. going to be it for the Justice League. Then, I'm going to work on Thor Ragnarok, Hulk, and Thor, and that's it. Um, then, I'm going to be working on Guards of the Galaxy. The crew, the new crew, Yondu, Mantis, and other figures, etc., and the villain. That's it. Then, for uh, Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman, the pilot, I forgot his name. And a villain. That's it. And yeah. So basically I'm just going to make the main characters. And the villain. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> but don't expect me to do like a 20 showcase. 20 minifigure showcase of one. Only, one film only. So yeah. Um, also I'm going to be entering. Um, Raptor Customs. Um, contest. I've just been waiting to see if there's any other people going to join because there are some competitors out there that are, <laughs> um, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. So I've been went, waiting to see if there's anybody else going to join, but I'm going to join probably this week. I'm going to be making a video on my contest entry, and I got really awesome figures to enter to his contest. So who knows? I'm probably going to enter these three right here. Boom. Get out of the way. Boom. So probably these three figures that might enter. I might. I'm not so sure about that. But I might enter those three figures right there you see right now. So who knows. But yeah. So that's it for projects for 2017. I'm going to be making also a New Year's. um, The last video for 2016. I'm going to be explaining my. All, the whole time since I began. I'm going to be explaining my experiences, uh, people who I've met, people who I've um, talked to and who've um, enjoyed talking to or f very good friends I've met in this awesome community and troubles and problems that I've been going through. But no matter what, you got to keep going. And I'm going to make a video on that. So, yeah. That's it for projects, I guess. Oh, by the way. Hold on a second. By the way. I received a package from TCA Lego Supreme Legos from Flickr. I received a Superior Spider-Man that he made a long time ago. A uh, quick quick thing he inspired me to make customs so this is one of his customs he started this is one of his first customs let me know what you think about his customs um but it looks absolutely amazing i love them he inspired me to make customs so if you say but michael gf he's better well this guy i think he's special to me and i really appreciate his inspirational customs that 
he has more custom so yeah so he also made me this one and this one so these awesome figures will be remembered well they're not dead of course but they will be one of my special figures um so yeah so if you see me whoa look at this are you gonna make a spider first customs because look at this you got that custom there uh you got this spider-man custom right here let me just get that further up all right you got that custom there you got this custom there oh not to mention you got also that custom right there oh but not to mention as well you got this other custom right over here oh look at that it's coming there oh but not to mention as well you got another spider-man villain right there yeah so who knows I'm probably going to make a Spider-Verse showcase. <laughs> That's a rumor only. So, yeah. Um, also, I'm going to be making uh, my top 10 figures for uh, my top 10 figures I've ever made. So, expect that video to come, like, next week, probably. Um, but top 10 figures that I've made. And the list is made by you. On Instagram, I've made a live stream there, and I got almost all the figures that people like from me, and I, they will be included, and they will be, and the people who told me about the figures, like, what's your favorite figure of mine, the people who suggested, I'm going to put their names in the video, give them credit for each and one of the figures that they chose to be in the video. So, yeah. Also, I might receive a package... Hold on a second. Okay, there we go. I'm also going to receive a package from MFC Studios, I believe. Um, MFC Studios. If you guys don't know him, you guys should check him out. Go and check him out. Um, he's another customizer out there. Um, I was it's a hunter subscriber. And he's going to send me an awesome figure. That I'm just gonna leave it in surprise and suspense, so you guys don't know right now which figure is gonna be, but I will guys let you know in the near future when I receive the package. Of course, I will I'll let you guys know. So I'm gonna be reviewing the set as well. So let me just put She-Hulk, this this awful She-Hulk figure that I probably my worst the face though just the face it's just look at the face like the color tone that's the only the only thing i'm kind of upset with but let's try this out nope she holds powerful but she seems that she can make this okay come on she has to use this feature we gotta make it for the video ends Oh, but one more thing. Allahu Akbar. Yep, that's Allahu Akbar. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and also leave your opinions about Carrie P Fish Fisher's um, passing away. Um, I know it's a very sad moment right now for everybody in the world because, of course, she's in this iconic Star Wars figure, and now she's gone forever. And I couldn't believe it at first when I heard the news about it, but I'm really, really sad and um, really sad about this terrible loss that we just suffered from. We've lost a lot of people this year, and... We hope we don't lose any other important figures of our life the next year to come. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to leave any suggestions or anything. And see you guys next time. Bye.